Easy peeps, and welcome back to another episode. Started from the bottom, the road to glory. Right, we left. We left yesterday's episode on 14 wins, nine games left of the Foot Champions team. This is the squad we are going to play with. For five of those nine games, we're going to play our lone Aubameyang. We might as well. We haven't. We're not going to do anything else with him. And then obviously Jesus will replace him once the five games are gone. So first up, unfortunately, I should have had a warm-up game, but that doesn't negate the fact that these heroes have done well for me. They've done absolutely well. We do go one nil down in the first game. Like I said, that's my own fault. I should have. I should have really have like rushed up a little bit, had a game or something, just got a little bit warmed up. And we went 2-0 down within the, fir the first like 14 minutes. Nothing we can do. I just wasn't ready. I wasn't on it. I wasn't just completely my fault. Completely my fault. But that's a bit of a shame. We do manage to get a consolation goal back. Thanks to Mikatari. A nice little run from Aubameyang who gets the assist on his five game day but and Mikatarian gets a goal just before the 50th minute. But unfortunately, we do take a loss on that one. Next up, look at this team. Remember, we're, we're rocking a very good team, man. Marcelo, Umtiti, Varane, Carvajal, uh, De Bruyne, Modric, Bale, Neymar, Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, we played some big hitters this weekend, man. Some absolute big hitters. We do go 1-0 down in the 32nd minute, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we held him off for 32 minutes, and then we managed to get a swift reply thanks to Lacazette, who honestly has been the, stein, the shining star of this weekend for me. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed him. And then we get another quick one, Aubameyang with a drag back. Oh, that's an assist and a goal in two games for Aubameyang. This card is nutty let me tell you i think we might have to i think we might have to get him he just sees a lot of money but trust me i enjoy playing with him not bad at all and then mikatarian seals the deal with a nice little finish from outside of the box and we beat that super mega team 3-1 well done you bunch of heroes absolutely superb kiss the badge touch the camera touch the badge and kiss the camera kiss everything 3-2. Unlucky. Unlucky. We do concede another kickoff goal. They are slowly becoming the bane of my life, ladies and gentlemen. However, we managed to get another one. Aubameyang. Bosh! Two goals and an assist in his first two games. What a man. And the man rage quits. Bacardi 15 or I stone, one stone, whatever you want to call yourself. Get out of here. Next up, we've got another mega team ish. Lingard, Wijnaldum. I see an icon and I automatically think mega team. It's not too bad. His defense is better than ours. His attack is better than ours. Not too much of a mega team. But Aubameyang, he is a player to watch. According to the little graphic at the top. And let me tell you, that was beautiful. Another goal for Aubameyang. Oh, what a man. What a hero. What a legend. Yeah, really good, man. Really, really good. Let me know. I know I know. we've had a few comments that a few people have got him and are going to get him. But let me know if you have got Obama Yang. Let me know how he's doing for you. Is he doing bits? And then Obama Yang gets an assist as Lacazette seals the deal on the 35th minute. Whew! We beat another team better than us. Next up. Another team better than us. Look at this. Sandro, Varane, Ramos, Walker, Courtois, Matuidi, Pogba, De Bruyne, Martial and Lukaku. Like I said, man, we're, face we're facing some good teams and there's only so much my wrists can take. <laughs> there's only so much. But, you know, we're going to take owls because it just it feels like every game is like boof, boof, a struggle. We go. On the attack, all game. We get another shot, all game. We hold this mega team out, all game. We have a corner in the 90th minute 
He does a massive, massive ball all the way up top to Lukaku. All of my team has pushed up. It shoots, bounces back off to Hay, and De Bruyne gets a rebound in the 91st minute. And we lose that game. But the heroes tried so, so hard. They tried. Next up, another team with better players. Bale, Sane. <laughs> Jesus, Sanchez, Dembele, Kovacic, Cruz, Sanchez, Aspilicueta, another Ramos and Kepa. <sighs> Penalty! Just under three minutes, they take Aubameyang down. They can't stop him from turning and a twisting and a turning and a twisting. And we get a penalty. They're arguing with the ref, there's no point. Laka sends the ball home. 1-0 on the third minute and another goal from Laka. Well played, sir. I know it's only a penalty, but man, you scored some important goals for us still. This weekend. Bale crosses it in to Sanchez as we get done on a counter-attack and it goes 1-1 in the 34th minute. Nothing we can do. Bale outpaces defence. Nice little move from him. He goes 2-1 for a swift reply as Mikatarian gets himself another goal. Again, he's got some important goals for us this weekend as well. And then we get another one. 3-1 against his mega team. Lacazette. Woo! Boober! Boober, boober, boober! Another goal. Another win against a much better team well done boys so proud of you unfortunately though we only could get 18 wins in the end it's a shame we left ourselves in one game we did lose our last game against a, a team full of icons we got absolutely battered so we do finish goal two we couldn't quite get gold one unfortunately but honestly 45,000 coins a rare gold pack two rare mega packs and two player pick foot champions items I will take that all day long. I'm completely happy with that. Well done, you bunch of heroes. Whew. Right then, to celebrate, we've got our squad battles rewards. Not bad at all. Those heroes, can we get another hero to add to that bunch of heroes? Elite 1. The grade for the Elite 1 went up a little bit more this week. Before, last week it was 45,000. This week it ended up being 49,000. Uh, we do get that beautiful Soprano kit, love it, that's going to go straight as one of our main kits, absolutely beautiful kit in game. Um, so last week it was 45,000, this week it's 49,000 and you will see in a moment as well, you can earn your next uh, foot swap player from this week's squad battles. All you have to do is finish gold 3 or above and you get another foot swap player which we'll see here you get a Rodriguez foot swap player so you only need to finish gold three or above to be able to get that so that's what that's going to do is more people are going to play squad battles this week so first week for, um, second week was 45,000 49,000 this week but this week coming it, I think to get elite one is going to be even higher than 49,000 um, so we have to be careful of that right then so we've got two jumbo premium golds from the pre-orders so we'll open those and obviously we've got two rare mega packs from the squad battle rewards so first up then let's open our jumbo premium gold pack can we pack something decent in this we haven't packed anything over 86 yet we get an inform nice not a good one, 77 rated inform Torres, but an inform nonetheless, so I will take that. But we are struggling a little bit in terms of our pack pools again, like last year. We're not packing anything good, unfortunately. We haven't yet packed a player over 86 rated. Our highest pack pool has been an 85, and we've only packed that once. One 85 rated player so far. That's been our highest, so we are struggling. Our second Jumbo Premium Gold Pack from the pre-orders. Can we get a... No, we can't get an 86 rated on this one, unfortunately. Uh, we get Zajek, whatever his name is. Zajek, Zajek. Him, 82 rated, is he? Servers, man. Servers. 
Yeah, Sunday gameplay was a little bit heavier than Friday and Saturday. That was interesting. I don't know whether loads of people had saved all of their games till Sunday because there's less games to play. But the Sunday servers were a lot heavier than what Friday and Saturday were. Nowhere near as bad as uh, FIFA 18 so far, but they were heavy. Right then, the first rare mega pack from the Squad Battles Rewards. Can we pack something good on this? We can't get an 86 rated, but we can get a board. We get goalkeepers. It's going to be Schnizny. Schnizny. Yeah, Schnizny. 84 rated. Bless you. 84 rated. Still, we haven't packed over an 86 rated player yet. 84 rated in that one. We do get more contracts. Like I said, we've got contracts coming out of our absolute elbows at the moment. More squad fitnesses, which are important. Position changes and stuff like that. And a few duplicate players here and there so they will help with squad building challenges and our last rare mega pack from squad battle rewards we still don't get an 86 rated plus player but we do get back to back boards we get oh 85 yeah sweet then so we get another 85 rated player so that's our second 85 rated player i tell a lie we had one walkout that was that 66 rated foot swap player liverpool player yeah but <laughs> that's it so we're still holding out for that 86 plus rated player. We get all right. So honestly, the rewards this week weren't that great. We did get an extra 30,000 coins, obviously from squad battles. But in terms of the players that we received, they just wasn't that good. So hopefully, hopefully our luck starts to pick up with Pax soon because it's starting to kill me a little bit. Right then, that is it for today's episode. If you have stumbled across the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button, my friends? You can also turn your notifications on so that you know when a new video goes live. But for now, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a bit.